Okay, cat, I'm back. Holy gosh. Uh, you probably are getting sick of these videos, but um, I'm just trying to real quick rip out all the things that um, I think I'm, I know or familiar with or fill in some gaps, ideas, expand on ideas that are probably out there already. So pardon me if I'm repeating any. Uh, thank you very much to all those who have already done a lot of hard work way before me. Shout out to all the great ones. Game of Thrones Academy. Love those guys. Uh, Civilization X. You can get all your history of Game of Thrones there. Raw Wrist and Emergency Awesomeness. Uh, again, links are down on the bottom. I really recommend these folks. And of course, there's plenty of other people out there. They're probably doing a bang up job and way better than quality video than mine. So, uh, awesome i've got a number of other videos that i've talked about um short ideas things that uh have entered my mind about what's happening uh i talked about john snow and the potential that uh that he wasn't that he was dead and the reason he was dead and he came back was because he'd already been to the land of the dead uh which is kind of an interesting concept and the last one i talked about authorian legend um and Wayland the blacksmith and the concept of azora high um, where does Azora High come from? Was he the Messiah? He, he had a little Arthurian legend in there. And Wayland the Smith, who's uh, extremely famous for making the best, sharpest, and most awesome swords uh, on the planet. Um, and in fact, is uh, he drove one of his swords into somebody's heart. <laughs> kind of like Azora High and Nisa Nisa. So um, there are some... I, I totally recommend just not listening to my videos... Go out and find these stories yourself and read them and you can see how they play out in the Game of Thrones and some of the storylines that George R. R. Martin included in there. So moving on, talking about Arthurian legends um, and how they play out here, uh, there's Blood Raven. And we see Blood Raven as an old dude who's stuck in a tree. And he sees things wherever he's got green sight and he's he sees the past and he sees the future. And maybe he manipulates things. Maybe. Um, I personally don't agree that that's, that that's what's happening. Um, people are like, well, Bran, Bran kind of projected himself into the past. And uh, he shouted out and his dad heard him. And then maybe uh, while he was in the past, he worked in the Hodor, um, hold the door, Hodor. And, um, and maybe he's there to manipulate the past. And, but then he finds out that everything he does is what causes what happens maybe because right because if you change the past it's like a raindrop in china um becomes a tsunami someplace else and there's a whole time time <laughs> a time in history thing we could talk about at some other point but i really want to get back to blood raven and who he is in arthurian legends that would be merlin so in game of thrones blood raven uh, is a Targaryen. He's a bastard Targaryen. And uh, he serves the king. He puts down several rebellions. And then he's the hand of the king. He's very smart. He goes and studies all this stuff. And he studies magic. Arcane um, knowledge. Uh, and then uh, eventually while well, he's the hand of the king. For like the fifth king that he's serving. Or whomever it is. He does something bad. Or, or kind of traitorous. Um or betrayal or kinslaying so they invite some guy to uh, one of the blackfires to uh, do a treaty with them and maybe you know stop uh, any future rebellions and when the guy comes to the castle blood raven supposedly orders him captured and beheaded and then uh, blood raven is given the choice um, to either be beheaded or go to the wall so he goes to the wall and he serves for 13 years i think 13 years is a important concept because if you remember the story of the knight's king <clears throat> the knight's king had served for 13 years as a uh, commander of the knight's watch so there's a little something something over there on the side um that might be able to talk about but then he goes uh ranging into the other side and he never comes back and then Bran eventually finds him locked in a tree, and Blood Raven is trying to teach Bran all of his, um, all of his knowledge and, and history. And, and why is he doing that? Does he want Bran to manipulate things? I, I don't think he wants Bran to manipulate things, but we'll get to that in a second. So, how is he Merlin? 
So if you know the Arthurian legends or even the Merlin cycles, you can go back and read. And there's a lot of different ones. Um, they have Merlin being a lot of different things. Uh, Merlin was, you know, the son of a uh, uh, daughter of a, a lord and uh, an incubi, which, by the way, is a, is a freaking demon, uh, sex demon. <laughs> and he gets his energy by having sex uh, with whomever, and he kind of sucks the life from them. Uh, but he's an incubi or sea people, by the way, serpents. The serpents are dragons. Just a thought. Dragons, serpents, incubi. Um, so Merlin is born. And uh, Merlin is a fatherless son. And, and there's another um, myth in here. So at some point, a uh, king is trying to build a tower. But every time he builds a tower, the tower falls down. Storms end. Right? And the sea serpent, we'll get to that. So, storms in, the tower comes down. Uh, the king gets a prophecy that says, you must find a child uh, born with no father and sacrifice him on the site, and then your tower will stand. So, the king goes out and says, find me this child, and lo and behold, they bring Merlin, who is a child without a father because his father was an incubi, right? Gone back to the sea. Never see him again. Not, not a real man. Uh, but before he could sacrifice Merlin, uh, Merlin actually tells him why the tower keeps falling. And he says that there are two dragons in a great lake underneath your tower, and they are duking it out. And so long as they are duking it out and they're knocking, you know, they're making the earth shake, your tower will never stand. It will always fall. So you should actually go someplace else and build your tower someplace else because your tower is never going to stand here. Uh, and, and allegedly he says, you know, give this property to me and I'll take care of it. And you go, you go your separate way. So that's one myth why that ends up happening. And then Merlin builds his own tower that stands. So kind of like Storm Send, right? Okay, so Merlin is the dude of arcane magics, uh, right? He knows things. He's a shape shifter. And depending on which mythology uh, legends that you read about Merlin, one of those shapes might be a raven. <laughs> right? Uh, just kind of like uh, Blood Raven, the three eyed raven. Uh, that's, that's Merlin, or um, the one that he shape shifts into. And, and Merlin shape shifts into a uh, number of animals or other people. He looks like other people, or he goes into other people. Uh, so here's Merlin's. Here's a little Merlin story. Merlin becomes, he finds, he either finds King Arthur or he goes to King Arthur's court and he becomes his advisor and he teaches him about how to rule and he tells him about the past, about how he came to be, uh, who his father is. Because if you know the story of King Arthur, uh, Merlin allegedly disguised Uther as the Duke of uh, Cornwall so that uh, Uther could go in and sleep with his enemy's wife, Egraine. And Arthur was born from that. So Merlin tells Arthur uh, who his father is. Probably very much like uh, Blood Raven is telling Bran who's, who the father and mother of Jon Snow really is. Okay. Uh, why else is, what else happens to Merlin? So Merlin why why is Bran in this tree and what's that to Merlin? So let's talk about Merlin. Merlin falls in love with uh, a woman at King Arthur's court or someplace else, depending on what legend you read. And But she does not return his affections. But she tells him that if he teaches her all of his freaking magic, that uh, she uh, will marry him. Essentially, so he escorts her back to her father, and he teaches her all the secrets uh, of his of his magic. And but before they get there, they stop overnight someplace, and in this place is a, a tomb that's supposedly of two lovers, um, two doomed lovers, who were locked forever in a, 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 an eternal love. And and maybe this is a Tristan and Isolde story, but. Uh, when he tells her that um, his lady love, Nimue, or Niviana, sorry, Niviana, uh, 
he goes to sleep in in this cave that becomes his tomb and she casts a spell on him and he stays there forever and he and he lives there forever until he dies sort of like blood raven in the cave underneath the tree but a little more um potentially other theories of merlin's demise or disappearance is that in fact um he climbed uh, he climbed the sacred tree and uh, to get a view of all the world and he disappeared into this tree and he never returned and that Merlin is forever in this tree looking out forward backward past future all that good stuff um, nature and man so that's very similar to blood raven stuck in the tree and the other one is that uh, uh, Nimoy, the Lady of the Lake, um, captures Merlin and casts a spell on him uh, and he's while he's sleeping in the boughs of a tree. And there he sleeps forever until he comes back. <laughs> uh, so there you go. So Blood Raven is uh, Merlin. At some point, uh, Merlin had imparted a lot of knowledge to Arthur. So Bran could be Arthur. So maybe Bran's Azora High. Yeah. Okay. And then there's other stories about Merlin getting an apprentice. So uh, there's a lot of Merlin-esque aspects of Blood Raven, uh, including that, in fact, Merlin, you know, Bran, uh, Blood Raven and the Children of the Forest, uh, Merlin definitely had some associations with the Fae or the Fairy. So lots of Arthurian Merlin legend right there. So thank you very much. I hope this was somewhat informational. Uh, you know, obviously this is reason why Blood Raven had to disappear and somebody else has to take his place because Merlin disappears. Thank you. I'll talk to you uh, next one on the, the next Legends of, of uh, Game of Thrones. Have a good one.